Are you a beginner or you just started your second account and you want to level up your character fast? So in this video I will help you to do it. Just repeat after me and you will be cool. Let's start from the first C. First thing first, you have to complete some quests in the starter island to grow your level a little bit. Next, you grab a simple bow and sail to Fountain City Island. This is the latest location in the game and we go there just to skip jungle island quests. Because we can. On this island, you have to find NPCs there. Choose any guy and stand behind this stone fence. In that place, you won't receive any damage from them. So, you will be safe. All you have to do, my boys, from it is to kill one or more NPCs there. Don't forget to use XP code here, but only one and with a small amount of time of XP. 15 minutes will be enough, I guess. Don't waste your XP codes here, because you'll need them later. You'll spend around 8 minutes to kill one NPC here, but from him you'll get around 50 levels, which is so good and you have already skipped the jungle location. And start going next to Pirate Village. Next thing you have to care about is fruit. You need one for farming. As I said in every video, Buddha is the best fruit for grinding, but not in the first sea. So here you can get any fruit you want. It doesn't matter actually. But I have some recommendations for you guys, my little pirates. First, don't roll fruits in Getcha. I know that temptation is great and you want to get the leopard in the first sea, but the change is too low for good fruits. But you need money because you are grinding. So the best place to get fruits will be to find one under the tree. But the regular fruit shop will be better. So go there and pick any fruit you can afford. You can get magma, the bomb whatever but the best fruits for green in the first sea will be flame and light so keep an eye on them and collect some money light will be the best choice but it can be expensive flame is not as good as light but much cheaper why is buddha bad here it's because of its awakenings you have to awaken buddha fruit to release all its potential but you can do it only in the second sea so i don't recommend to try to buy it here at least if you roll it from gacha do not change your fruit keep using buddha because you cannot find better fruit for grinding in the future try to collect money for light fruit Better choice here, believe me. But if you have light fruit already, I recommend you to spend money on rolling fruits, because you have to trade later and if you will have a lot of valuable fruits, you will win this life. After you have got the fruit you want, all you have to do to max your level in the first sea and go to the next sea is to do quests. Don't be afraid of quests, it's the best way to max your level and explore the sea. And if you have the right fruit and a lot of double XP codes or game passes, the process will be much faster. Don't abuse server hopping and only boss killing. It's not necessary. With quests you can do it faster, so don't waste your time. Okay, it's time grinding your level in the second C. As you know from the first C, the game is super grindy. You will green a lot of here, and you cannot do anything with that here. You will green whether you want it or not. By the way, Dev said that they will decrease grinding in the future updates. We don't know what exactly, but thanks for that though. Maybe in the future leveling up will be faster or less grindy. Anyway, good news. But when it happens, nobody knows. Alright my gym rats. What do you have to do first here? First, I recommend you to find Buddha if you don't have it yet. If you roll enough in the previous C, as I suggested to you guys, and you have enough valuable fruits, go trade Buddha fruit. If you don't know the place, there is a cafe location where everybody trades, so type in chat who has Buddha and get one. It doesn't matter what you will trade for Buddha, you just need to get it. But for example, Shadow for Buddha will be a fair trade for you. Or you can negotiate, who knows whom you'll meet. After you've got Buddha, you have to awaken fruit. And only after that I'm blessing you to green. You have to pass the raid one time for Buddha. You need to awaken only the first skill of it, so it won't be a problem. But if you have some, in our Discord you can find some players for that. They always asking about raids there. Link will be in description. By the way, you can use one glitch with Buddha when you're in transformation. 
click transformation again and quickly change to swords. And if your sword went bigger, you did it. In that case, you will be small but have a large Buddha attack range which will help you to farm in small places like curse ship or others. But I use that not often, so it's up to you. After you've been a big gas player, you need one more thing. This sword. To be exact, Rengoku. I have a small guide on how to get it, but for you, I can repeat that here. Put a like for that, okay? So, Rengoku is the best sword because it's so easy to get, almost no level requirements and it will be enough even for the late game. So listen to how to get it. You head to the Ice Castle location. There will be Ice Admiral, which is obvious. Ice Castle, Ice Admiral, you know, never mind. From that boss, with a small chance from 1 to 5%, you can obtain a hidden key, which you need to get Rengoku sword. So you have to defeat him a few times. Also, uh, and the best way I think, you can get this key from the NPCs around there, around this castle, but with a small 0.5% chance. It is small chance, I know, but if you play in public server and the boss is already gone, you can solve the problem. After you've got the key, you head inside the castle, and on the right side of it, you'll find a wall. Just go through it and you'll see a chest or something, I, I don't remember. And that is how we can get this sword. By the way, this sword will be reworked in future updates, so it won't be a mess. So now you're ready to green. All your points you can distribute to melee, sword and defense. You won't need a fruit stat anymore, so refund them with the code if you have of course and set your stats again. To green your level in the second C won't be a problem. Just do quest. All quests along with double XP and you will be leveling up as fast as possible. But before going to the third C, make sure to get a race you want. Doesn't really matter what race you will be using, so don't really spend so much time for that. Anyway, after you finish grinding, you can focus on that. But now it's not a big deal. But if you want, you can get rabbit race for faster moving and it will be enough. After you've completed the second C, we're going to the third C. Here is so simple. You have already set for grinding and you can focus here only on that. But here are a few tips. Get a pilot helmet in the first port town island from the boast. With this accessory will be fast as hell, especially if you have the rabbit race. Do events or other activities that happen in the sea, like creeping drop bow spawning or pirate raid, etc. Because other players can trigger that and why not to go there to get a chance of getting some cool and rare things, such as accessories or fruits. Keep your double XP for grinding. If you have unused codes or double XP game passes, don't use them outside grinding. Don't waste your precious time. If you use the code or game pass for XP, spend all that time grinding. If you need additional double XP time, but you don't have Robux or can't trade for it, go to the Haunting Castle and collect bones. Later, you can exchange them for money, double experience time or other valuable things. With Buddha you can kill almost anybody and level difference is not a big deal now. And that's all, do quest with Buddha and double XP and you can level up super fast that.